If you use the supplement natokinase, which is promoted to reduce the risk of blood clots, listen up because we just tested these eight natokinase supplements and three failed our tests. I'm Dr. Todd Cooperman of ConsumerLab.com. We've been testing supplements since 1999. We found that one of these products actually had less than half of its natokinase activity, which is measured and listed on labels in fibrinolytic units or FUs. Another had only 82% of its listed activity and a third had 57% more activity than listed. This chart shows the amount of natokinase activity that we found in each product relative to its claim. Those below the red dashed lines had less than what they listed and those above the black dashed lines had more. Somewhat more is acceptable so that a product continues to provide at least 100% of its listed amount through its expiration date. Among the products that provided what they claimed within a reasonable margin, we selected one as our top pick for providing the best value. If you'd like more details about each product, as well as more information about natokinase, you can see our full natokinase supplements review on consumerlab.com if you're a ConsumerLab.com member.